Good morning from this beautiful, tranquil sleeping spot that we had last night. We did share it with people, but it was still amazing to wake up and enjoy the sunrise here. We're really starting to feel time tick away on us on this trip. So much so that we even booked a ferry for the 12th of September and today is the 9th of September. And the reason we did that is just to force ourselves to actually leave the island so that we can start heading east towards home, but more importantly, towards some of Canada's most beautiful national parks. Now we need to get back on the adventure grind because we're running out of time, like Richard said. <laughs> Today we're heading to Tofino, but before we get there, we're gonna stop in Tofino's uh, maybe sister city, I would call it, brother city. And we're gonna do a little hike to a viewpoint that's promising some pretty nice views of the Pacific Rim National Park. You have Tofino, Uculet, and the islands that surround it. And then we'll just see where the day takes us. That's kind of the best type of plans in my opinion. I know we said we weren't gonna be hopping on forest service roads anytime soon, but unfortunately that's kind of just the way of life here. Luckily it was only two kilometers down a forest service road, so the girl is still pretty clean I'd say. This hike is probably not the most interesting hike we could take you on. We are basically hiking up an old road to the viewpoint. The real reason we're going on this hike is the viewpoint, so we'll meet you guys up at the top. summit view up here is honestly almost too good to be true. It's one of the best ones we've had on the entire trip. You can see the town of Yuki. Behind us you can see the Pacific Ocean and some of the mountains that surround this area. It's really, really incredible. This view is breathtaking. To be able to look out across the ocean and kind of just dream about the places we've been on the other side of the ocean. I mean, Vietnam is not that far, right? Found a nice quiet little port here by the water just to take in the beauty of the bay here in Tofino and it's surrounded by mountains. It's honestly incredibly picturesque. But I can't help but get the feeling that this is a town that is seemingly jaded by all the tourists that they've had. There's signs everywhere telling tourists don't put your coffee cups in their cycling bins. You're definitely not allowed to camp here. You're not allowed to park here. I honestly can't help but get bad vibes from that. Like we've had so many amazing experiences here in British Columbia so far. And then to come to a town and just be told you basically can't do anything, I get it. The residents are trying to protect the beauty that they have here, but this is clearly a tourist place. There are tourists everywhere. The streets are littered with them. Kirsten's looking to see if there's anywhere we can grab maybe a small bite to eat before we kind of head back north up the highway and find a camping spot. We have stopped at a noodle bar here in town. They offer vegan and gluten-free options if that is your fancy. It smells amazing. We got pad thai, which is not the easiest thing to make on the road because it takes a lot of ingredients sometimes if you do it the right way, but look at this. Are you enjoying it or something? That's delicious. I'll eat it all. Goodbye. After finishing our pad thai, we headed 40 minutes back towards Port Alberni and enjoyed a colorful sunset at the previous night's beautiful campsite. We decided to come down to Yuki today because Tofino was frankly far too touristy for us and this already is 10,000 times more tranquil and honestly more beautiful because you can get right near the ocean without having boatloads of businesses and tourists in your way. We have a couple hours until we're able to check in to our campsite on Long Beach so we really were looking for a coffee shop. And the coffee shop that we found was part of a resort and I didn't really want to pull in there. So we kept driving like an extra 200 meters, found like a beach parking lot and ended up here. It's 
it's gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. And someone's serenading us to one of my favorite songs. <laughs> I love you when you sing that Always so impressed by the power of the ocean. You can really see the water swirling around and as the water comes in and comes out it creates this whirlpool effect that certainly looks like if you were to be swimming in it you could end up getting dragged against the rock which is not something we want to do. And what's really kind of sad is thinking about how this stretch is the furthest that we are going to get from home and that everything from here is going to be heading east back towards our home in Ontario. Do we have to go home? Do we have to? It was really cool to watch the tide go out and it looked like pretty ferocious water up close. Now that we've waited a sufficient amount of time, we're headed off to Long Beach where we're camping tonight. There's number five. Should I just pull in? Yeah, how Does it matter? Know? I love the beach. I love it. I'm so excited. It's a sandy beach. We've only had rock beaches here, so this is incredible. And I love the smell of the ocean. There's a reason they call it Long Beach. Like, you can't even see the end of the beach all the way over there. Although, apparently, it's closed somewhere down there. Ready, ready, ready? One, two, three. Put your toes up. <laughs> We checked in at the Greenpoint campsite here on Long Beach. The lighting is, well, not very good because it's completely surrounded by trees, but the silver lining for that means our van will be nice and cool this evening when we have to go to bed, which to me I think is probably more important than having good lighting. I don't know about you, Kirsten. What do you think? She said food. I think she's a little bit hungry. Kirsten's gonna whip us up some frankfurters with some other leftovers, and then we're gonna head back down to the beach, and I'm gonna drag Kirsten's ass into the ocean because, I mean, she dragged me away from the Rocky Mountains to come to the Pacific Ocean, so I'm gonna drag her right into the ocean myself. I really wanted to try this Uptown Naturals jackfruit that we keep seeing in the grocery store. They do offer it in, I think, barbecue spiced as well. Unfortunately, they only had the plain one. That's okay because that means we can make it our own with this apple honey mustard barbecue sauce. I'm pretty excited to try this because jackfruit's one of those things that I've heard is a lot like pulled pork or pulled chicken. It does kind of look like canned tuna a little bit. Now jackfruit is pretty similar to durian, if you've heard of that. It's a little bit sweeter and a little bit more normal, but once you jazz it up with some spices, it tastes even better. It's not the most conventional taco, taco, wrap, I don't know. Corn tortilla with tzatziki, cucumber, tomato, wow words are hard, jackfruit with barbecue sauce on it. It's pretty good. The texture is not like meat. It's just very sweet. I think we're going to enjoy this and then Maybe we'll go watch the sunset. It's hard to believe that the sun is setting on our time on the island, both literally and figuratively. <laughs> We're being treated to one of the most spectacular sunsets I've ever seen in my entire life here out on Long Beach. I really couldn't think of a better way to end this. It's this glowing red and orange color. I couldn't think of a much more beautiful place.
We are back on the ferry and headed to Vancouver. Masks are on, they're mandatory, and as of September 30th, it's actually gonna be mandatory that you stay in your vehicle. Unfortunately, the view this time is not going to be nearly as scenic as it was when we came over because the smoke has come in from the wildfires in the US, and it's pretty sad to see the effects of it. Apparently in Victoria, the air pollution is just as bad as it was when we were in India, if not worse. We can hardly see more than maybe 50 meters ahead of us due to the smoke, so we can't even begin to imagine how bad it would be in the US right now. The sun is barely visible, completely socked in by smoke, Back in the city of Vancouver and the smoke here is as bad as I've probably ever dealt with including our trips to Asia. We did our good deed for the day though. If you remember back on Mount Roar we summited and we found a GoPro and through all trails we were able to find the person who the GoPro belonged to. So we've come down into Vancouver and we were just able to drop off the GoPro before we head to an outdoor store to pick up some supplies for the next leg of our trip which is going to take us back into the Rocky Mountains. We will see you in the next video somewhere on the road to Kelowna. Bye!